Hello and welcome to the JS Music School YouTube channel. On this uh, 11th vlog and video in this uh, improv series, we're going to be looking at unison bends. Okay, the whole purpose of all these improvisation blogs is to help people, you know, st really start to get to grips with the lead playing and learn how to mix things up and come up with their own cool riffs. Uh, without you know, when you start off with your scales and soloing, it just tends to sound very scale-like. The idea if you mix all of these uh, things together and you practice schedule over backing tracks, you should start to really come up with some really great riffs and solos. Okay, so a unison bend. Actually, before I say that, um, all the text and the pictures and the diagrams can be found on the actual blog itself at jsmusicschool.co.uk. Um, so we talk, you know, sort of help you aid um, in conjunction with this video. Um, and also the actual direct link will be in the YouTube um, kind of uh, description. Okay, so um, a unison bend is basically two notes of the same pitch. Um, actual unison, that's what a unison is. So you've got an E is here, like when you're tuning up your guitar. You've got E fifth fret, B string, you've also got an E there. So that together is a unison, okay? Now the cool thing about these um, unison bends as well as your other types of bends that we looked at in the previous um, blogs, is it really kind of creates some kind of um, kind of harsh sounds um, before it reaches the kind of desired pitch. It really sounds quite cool. So, um, and the best way to do it, and the idea is that there's, there's more common patterns than others. Okay, so if uh, the top picture, okay, you've got basically um, the pattern on the B in the high E string. So you've got fifth fret, which is an A the high E string and then you've got the 8th um, fret on the B which is a G. Okay, So that is not actually a unison but the idea is you start, you're playing those together so you're keeping the 5th uh, the fret high E string really nice and still and that G is going to be pushed up to reach the pitch of that note. So you've got, it's really quite cool. Loads of great guitarists use it, so in solos and what have you. So. So that's one there. So you've got, it's in the pattern, it's always the same pattern. You've got fifth fret, high E string, uh, eighth fret there. Again, it just moves up. So that'll be an A, that'll be a B, okay? Uh, now the, the same kind of um, thing, you can do this on the G and the B strings, okay? Which is mostly where it happens, okay? So um, again, in the picture, you've got eighth fret, B string, tenth fret, um, so 8th fret B string is a G, the 10th fret um, G string is an F, so again it's a tone below and you're pushing that, okay, it's a really uh, cool cool sound, so you a load of distortion as well, okay so you've got that one there and again same pattern, okay so um, they're the two main types what you can do for um, extra practice is do it playing your scales using these, okay? So in the second picture I've used a G major scale which contains the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp and G and then just practice that again the tension is going to be a lot more down here so you're going to get more accurate with your bend. So if I do that you've got G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp Okay, so again, you can you know do a little solo, or whatever, and the A minor pentatonic. <laughs> Loads of cool stuff you can do with this. Um, again, you can add them into major and minor scale stuff as well. So that was using the G major scale. Again, if you did it in the pentatonic, you can go another way of learning the scales horizontally. Okay, so you can have A minor pentatonic with the tenor notes A, C. D, E, G, and A. So you could have A there, 5th fret, 8th fret, C, D, E, G, and again, that's the uh, A over there. Cool, so um, have fun with that. Again, use it over backing tracks in different keys, um, and you should find that, again, it's another cool little thing you can use. Um, you can find us on Twitter at JS Music School, Facebook.com, forward slash um, JS Music School for the Facebook page as well. 
hope you found that useful um, again use it with all the other blogs that we've done this is the 11th one um, any comments suggestions feel free to post in either the blog or the uh, comment section in the YouTube video thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers